Is there something that you really enjoy about your work? All of it. I love what I do and I feel really privileged to do what I do. Probably the one thing is designing things that are useful for people. So being able to talk to the user of a product that you've designed and seeing it impact their everyday life or how they experience a certain space like a museum or a gallery and how that kind of changes the way they interact with that space. Did you have any role models growing up? I was really fortunate that I had a family that came from IT in those days and we always got the crappy computer that the business was throwing out and we got that at home. Uh, so, you know, to make it run we had to learn how to type in commands to make the game run and I made a M&M fan site, I think. <laughs> and um, I, I really enjoyed it, like being able to type something in and see it appear on the web and you could share that with everyone. And just that idea of putting something on the web that's accessible to so many people um, that you created is, is really amazing. Um, I heard you're working on something called DIY Monsters Using Arduino. What's that about? How do you know about that? <laughs> yes. I have sources. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're teaching wearables and the point of the workshop will be to make a toy. Um, so kids are going to come and they're going to cut out these fabric felt pieces. We're going to sew a light to make the eye and then we've got a speaker where you can record your monster sound. So they're going to press the hand of the monster or the leg of the monster and be able to make the sound. That yeah. sounds so fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can't wait. Um, do you have any advice for people who want to get into IT? For me, what I usually tell people is that you have to just find what it is that you want to do and what makes you kind of tick and go 100% into that direction um, and see where it leads you, you know? <laughs>